Hello friends, welcome to this new lecture series on cancer treatment. We will discuss about some of the conventional treatment protocols in cancer treatment. Uh, so we want to actually everyone wants to get rid of cancer and prevent it from returning back that is cancer recurrence That is what is actually the primary goal for deciding the treatment procedure The doctor will look into the diagnosis tests results and decide on the treatment Which is most of the time very difficult because cancer phenotypes varies from patient to patient even if the cancer is the same it is quite difficult for the doctor to decide on the particular treatment modality. That is why treatment is not an exact science. For a patient, if the diagnosis is proper, then it is possible to decide on the best available treatment. So there are many types of cancer treatment. The types of treatment that a patient will receive depend upon the type of cancer and the stage of the cancer. Some cancers can have only one treatment but most need a combination of treatments such as surgery with chemotherapy combined with radiation therapies as well. In surgery, the doctor will excise the tumor cells from the patient's body. In radiation therapy, the cancer cells are targeted with high energy radiations which can kill them. Chemotherapy uses combination of various drugs to kill the cancer cells. Immunotherapy to boost the immune system to fight against the cancer or to use engineered antibodies to capture the cancer cells and kill them. Hormone therapy inhibit the growth of cancers specifically hormone responsive breast and prostate cancers that uses hormone for their growth stem cell transplant this is one uh, this is very specific to the blood cancers where the abnormal hematopoietic stem cells from the patient's bone marrow are substituted with healthy bone marrow cells or to replace the bone marrow cells damaged due to radio or chemotherapy the last one, precision medicine is something which is customized to the patient's specific needs designed by taking care of patient's genetic constituents. So today we will talk about surgery as cancer treatment option. The primary objective here is to remove the whole tumor tissue or as much as possible from the patient's body. So it is one of the oldest form of cancer treatment and it is still effective provided the tumor is has not spread extensively sorry and it is as a as a cancer treatment it was first effectively used by William Halstead it is uh, like that half of today's cancer patients actually will be going for surgery uh, at some point of their lives. Surgery is used to prevent cancer growth, diagnose cancer as we have seen before and obviously to cure cancer. As we will also see later in the lecture that surgery has several other uses in cancer treatment and care like palliative surgery used to reduce or relieve the pain associated with cancer burden. Surgical biopsies. These are uh, one of the best tools in cancer diagnosis as we have discussed in detail in the cancer diagnosis lecture series. Please go through the video if you want to know about surgical biopsies more. To make it short, surgically removing a part of the tumor and examining it for the presence of the cancer cells is one of the popular method in cancer diagnosis. In addition to diagnosis, surgical removal and examination of the tumor tissues can provide the knowledge about the cancer stage, meaning how advanced the cancer is. So this topic is also discussed in detail in cancer diagnosis lecture series. 
as cancer, cancer staging is an important part in determining the treatment procedure, surgery plays a major role in it. Uh, the type of surgery which is performed to remove the entire tumor tissue from the patient's body is known as the curative surgery. Majority of the cases will also remove some part of the adjacent healthy tissues including lymph nodes to make sure no hidden cells are left behind. Palliative surgery is not for uh, curing cancer but to reduce the pain or the discomfort associated with cancer growth. Many times painkillers may not work in reducing the pain due to overgrowth of the tumor which can be reduced by palliative surgery. Apart from uh, curative surgery, there are also other situations where surgery can be useful. For example, supportive surgery is performed to support other form of cancer treatments. It is more or less like palliative because it does not cure cancer, but it is more supportive in nature. For example, setting up a, up a uh, say for example, a catheter by surgical incision to facilitate chemotherapy is actually supportive surgery. Next, the restorative or reconstruction surgery. It is used as a follow-up to curative or other surgeries to improve or restore a person's appearance for the function of a body part. Preventive or prophylactic surgery is performed to remove non-cancerous cells which are likely to become cancerous, like removal of a benign tumor which is having a risk of developing into malignant tumor is actually a preventive surgery. Another role of surgery is debulking, debulking cancer, meaning reduce the tumor burden. It is basically done in those cases where removing the entire tumor tissue may not be possible due to possible damage to the organ or any nearby uh, tissues. There are certain specialized surgery like laser surgery. Uh, as we know that lasers are high energy single wave light beam focused on a narrow path. It can be focused on the superficial cancers like skin cancers or can be used with an endoscope to focus on a tumor growing internally. Laser surgery can remove tumor tissues without the need of any mechanical intervention. It can shrink or destroy the tumor mass or it can be used to activate any targeted drug that is already placed in the tumor site. It is very useful for the areas of the body which are difficult to reach like cervix, cervix or the larynx etc. This surgery that is the cryosurgery uses extreme cold temperatures to kill the cancer cells. Liquid nitrogen is placed in an instrument called a cryoprobe which is inserted in the body to reach the tumor. Cryosurgery is used as a surgical treatment for several types of cancers including skin and cervical. Electrosurgery is one of the applications of surgery where low intensity direct current of the DC is used to heat the tumor tissues via two electrodes. This is done sometimes for the skin and oral cancers. So although used extensively, surgical procedures will come with some obvious side effects. Pain is the most common side effects of surgery. The intensity of pain depends on the site of surgery and the size of the incision. Fatigue may be another side effects after every major surgery. Loss of appetite is common when patient went through anesthesia. The region where surgery has been performed can be inflamed because the body will treat it as an open wound. Loss of blood can bring more weakness. 
the open site can be infected at least the risk of infection is very high lastly the surgical removal removal of body organs especially in case of breast cancer patients or cancers of other superficial parts can induce emotional stress which is also a major side effect of any surgical procedure with this we come to the end of this lecture on cancer treatment we have discussed about various surgical procedures to cure as well as to support the cancer patient i hope you have enjoyed the lecture see you in the next lecture on radiation therapy thank you